Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine with a four card spread. This is for the zodiac sign of Virgo. This is your monthly for April 2020. I have pre shuffled the cards and pulled four cards for you. We have the Tempers in the reverse. We have the. What is this? This is the um, Seven of Coins, or I'm sorry, Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Eight of. Cups on the reverse, goodness. And then we have the Seven of Cups on the reverse. What is going on with you, Virgo? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm on the water, too. So with Tempers in the reverse, let me get it closer because it's a little bit far away. I'm seeing that in the previous month of March, you were impatient because, of course, we were all were, were because of the virus and some of us lost our jobs. Um, things weren't balanced out at your job or in, maybe in your relationship. Um, I'm seeing poor business management deals um, due to not listening to other people's complaints or unfortunate um, combinations of business and personal life. I see a lack of good judgment may be present. Um, perhaps everything you wanted was moving too fast. Um, I'm seeing that you or somebody else might have been getting pushy. I see an Aries Leo Sagittarius that might have been getting pushy with you in order to get things done their way or your way. Um, I'm seeing others. Um, yeah. And I, I feel like things were moving way too slow for you or for this other person. And there was a lack of follow through. Some of them followed through on something or you didn't follow through on something. It could be either or. Um, and things were just taking too long, uh, too long to happen. Uh, maybe you were going too fast or somebody else was going too fast that you were working with or with or been with. But if you go too fast, this card is here telling you that if you go too fast, you're going <laughs> to... Excuse me, you're going to miss something great. You're going to miss something. So this card is here telling you to slow down, slow down, take it easy, and let things flow naturally, okay? Because we are in a terrible energy with this virus going on. And um, in the month of April, I do see things improving for you, Virgo. So here we have the uh, Pentacles in the reverse, the... Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So in the upright position, it shows here that you are working hard. And here's all your Pentacles. You got them stacked up. And you got one here that you're working on. But you're working really hard. And, and you got them stacked up so everybody could see what you were doing. But it looks like you weren't getting the praise. In the reverse, it shows that you weren't getting the praise that you were seeking or expecting or wanting. So something that you were working on wasn't, didn't, you didn't get the praise for it. Maybe the it failed um, if you're a farmer, I've been getting a lot about farmers lately. Your your crop failed because of bad weather. Um, I'm seeing uh, things also fail because of low economic times like we're having right now. Um, maybe you didn't get the bonus that you were expecting or, um, you know, and just circumstances were beyond your control. And they are right now because of the coronavirus. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing poor speculation may be indicated as well. Um, yeah, this card comes up with a lot of people who are gambling on something and, um, yeah, so they gambling on something that you think is a sure thing. So you might've been gambling at a decision or at a job or maybe a relationship that you thought was a sure thing and it didn't turn out. So maybe you lost something, lost money or, or you invested in something that fell through and you lost money on that. So now with the um i'm sorry i had a my my mind went blank for a minute so with the um eight of cups i'm sorry I'm, y'all i'm tired i've been doing a lot of readings all day with the eight of cups this is you walk, walked away from everything you decided you were gonna call it quits you quit in your job, maybe you walked away from the job or uh, school or a relationship. I see Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and you, you were just sick of everything. You you just couldn't take it no more, and you walked away. Maybe in the month of March you did that. Now we're in the month of April. So in the upright is you walking away, okay? And you're wearing red, so that means you're walking away with passion because you want something different. You're going up the hill to seek something new. So... 
Now that it's in the reverse, you're there. You reach that top of the hill and you're ready for whatever's coming new. You want a new job, maybe a new relationship. If you're already attached, maybe you're renewing uh, something, vows or something with your spouse, but you want something new. You don't want to be in the old um, position that you were in before or the old way. You want new ways of life, new ways of living uh, new new work, new clothing, you want everything new. So you're seeking that now. You've come to the point where you're not going to stand there and just do nothing. So in the month of April, you got your passion back. You got your passion back to seek pleasure, material things. Um, yeah, you, you want to uh, get back into the physical world and start over again, especially now that you know, we've had the slowdown with the virus that we had. Now you want something new. I've seen new love interest as well. For some of you that are single, I'm seeing a new love interest coming in. It's a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, yeah, so you're getting your passion back for life. A lot of us are actually, we want our passion back for life and to go back to the way things were before this virus hit. I am seeing travel uh, with friends. There's going to be a new adventure where you travel with friends or travel with a loved one. Um, and you might be traveling and meet someone that you fall in love with. A lot of passion. I say a lot of passion, a lot of adventure, adding up to bliss. I hear the word bliss uh, and you're re-entering the world after a period of retreat. So all of you were in retreat, but now you're re-entering that world again, the world again, and you're going to have uh, new things popping up with this card here. So you're traveling. So here again, it's basically the same thing. You had a, uh, in the upright position, you had a decision to make. See, all these cups are full of something. Some of them are good and some of them are bad. And this is about choices and decisions. You're not sure which cup to take. And then here's a cup here that's draped. You don't even know what's underneath it. So now that you're in the reverse, you made that choice. That's coming from, I mean, that's for the, for the future, the future card, and I see again Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I'm seeing you might be choosing a, if you're single, you might be choosing that Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, this is the card of us fantastic visions. So there'll finally be a decision made on something, whether it be a relationship or a job, but you choose the right direction. I see that you're choosing the right direction in April. You've made up your mind to go in that direction and you're going to, you're on the right track. I hear that you're on the right track and you're going to continue on this course. You select a project. I'm hearing that you've selected a project and you're going to see, you're going to be committed to it till the end. Okay. Don't give up your ideas. I'm hearing don't give up your ideas and because everything that you put into motion is starting to work, whether it be job, relationship, school, whatever it is that you're working on, it's going to start working in April. Towards the end of April, I see that you made a good choice. It's going to start working and you're going to reap, you're going to reap what you sowed. So if you're working hard, you know, on a project, a job, a relationship, whatever, whatever choice you made, you're going to reap the goodness of it. This, so you might have had bad luck in March because of the virus and maybe you lost your job or a relationship or you were just at a standstill. But once you made that decision to walk away from all that and start new, then you made that decision here and you're going to reap in the goodness of what's coming. I see again money coming in. I see money coming in for everyone, of course, because of the money that Trump is sending out. But I also see money coming back in because a lot of us are in April. We're going to start new jobs or go back to work because a lot of us were laid off because of the virus. But now we're going to go back to work and the money's going to start flowing again. I am seeing Virgo that you need to check your bank account because someone is making a mistake on it since the bank's been kind of wishy-washy here lately. So, you know, check your bank accounts and make sure the numbers are right. Or if you're into stocks and bonds, I saw a lot of those were messed up because of the virus. Go back and recheck all the paperwork. I'm hearing something about paperwork to recheck that if you're investing. Okay. And also look at the clause. If you're buying a new home, Look at the clause. Make sure you read the fine print because there's going to be something in there you're going to miss if you don't read the fine print and then you might regret it later. So go ahead and read that fine print. Um, and that's for any contract that you sign 
Make sure you read it thoroughly twice and the fine print because you don't want to regret signing something that you can't, you know, uh, make a commitment to. All right, Virgos? But I do see you coming back up. You're doing good by the end of April and you're going to keep moving forward from there. I do see wedding bells for some of you Virgos with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. All right, this is your monthly for April 2020 for Virgos. Y'all, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the information down below. Remember, this is a general reading. It doesn't resonate with everyone, but if it does, good for you. I'll see you next time. Bye.